Hi, welcome to the GF channel. In today's episode, we are installing a door ajar indicator to our um, 626. Unfortunately, Mazda decided that they will um, remove this quite nice feature from the GF. I do not know why. It, it is available on the G and then on the GG it's there just the GF doesn't have it um, not all regions though but for Europe it doesn't exist so I'm gonna show you how to add it um, first the parts you're gonna need um, this is my original original tachometer as you can see there is no, nothing right here next to the um, battery indicator and this one I got from the states from a protege and that's the indicator we want now what we are missing from here is right here at the top corner there should be um, check engine light so this is for OBD models of 626 after 2001 if you're not an OBD model it's all good because the the other two are here and at the bottom we are missing the uh, security light and the um, fog lights I believe let me check yes security light and the fog light and on the top the check engine light so for sure there should be some cutting to make this happen um, even if you're with a non-OBD uh, facelift version then again you're gonna need to cut what else I'm getting out of it is a different icon for the handbrake and inside here you see there is a missing spot that missing spot is the interesting thing it's one for a seat belt sign. You're, you haven't placed your seat belt. I'm intending to actually make this lit as I'm, I'm not, if I don't place my seat belt, seat belt. But that will be, a, of course, another video. And see the brake. It actually says brake here. The handbrake. Come on, focus. Doesn't want to focus, but it says brake. The green color seems the same as the backlit color. I do not think there will be any issues. Um, if you turn those around, both of them, they are the same. The shapes are the same at the back. Everything is the same. Almost everything. Only these angles here, 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 and here. We are going to need to tape them together so we get the light out because if if not then there is no light out and doesn't matter what you do be, be behind so for the behind part that's my original instrument cluster um, you're gonna need this here R306 soldered that's a resistor for the LED which is on top of course you're gonna need the LED and what else you're gonna need is here the 33 a diet. Um, I'm gonna use spare parts from another one, and I've already traced it for this LED. So I'm gonna get this LED, this resistor, and this um, diet from another part. I don't know what uh, what diet you need for as for the resistor just use online calculator for LED because depends on your LED what what type of LED you get uh, just punch the numbers inside of the calcula calculator and it's gonna show you what resistor you need but for this I don't know I have absolutely no idea what diet you need um, I'm gonna use this one here but that, that, these are the three things we need in here. So the, the diode, the resistor, and this diode. <clears throat> um, so I have here 
something to show actually if if you are one of those lucky owners of 6 to 6 which have the board computer in here you won't have there's no way you can modify your car to have the <clears throat> door ajar um now let me just remove this which one was it i believe this one I have a super <laughs> here of um, Speedos. So this one here, this is from Demio facelift, Mazda Demio facelift. If you're if you're in Europe and you cannot find those, in the, uh, it's uh, not those those. They're hard to find in the states. Uh, expensive also. What you could do to get the icon is use the Demio one so here if you can see somehow see right next to the the one for uh, for the battery there is an indicator for open trunk it's not a door it's a trunk but it's still something that is better than you scratching it uh, come on no, I'm not gonna be able to. I was able to with proper lightning, but not here. Okay, doesn't matter. Demio from uh, facelift Demio, you can get a, a tachometer which has a light. Not as beautiful as this one, but still has. So, let's start with the soldering, see what happens. And I've done soldering, the soldering. I broke off one of the legs of the register, so I had to fix it. Um, so, I open the door, I close the door. Open the door, close the door. Beautiful. Let's get to the um, testing of the instrument, of the uh, tachometer, if it's working or not. Okay, everything is mounted, uh, not everything, but the uh, tachometer from Protégé is properly mounted on the 6 to 6, Euro 6, to 6 European. Now we need to check if it's actually functioning properly. To do that, there is a procedure that needs to be followed here. Um, basically, you need to disconnect your battery, open the driver's, driver's side door, connect the battery, turn the ignition switch to on, push the three times the door button, and then push the three, three times the uh, trip button. And that should enter into a diagnostics mode, input-output check mode, I believe it's called, and we're interested in the tachometer one. Is it working? It should stay at 300... Uh, 3000 I believe where was it uh, 14 uh, 14 is buzzing I saw it somewhere it should stay at 3 ah here you go the RPM tachometer needle moves full scale and then indicates 3000 RPM then the tachometer is okay so we are interested in seeing this on position 13 tachometer, position 13. So let's do it, I'm not gonna remove the, um, not gonna remove the battery instead, I'm just plugging in the power as of right now, like that. Okay, there seems to be power, so ignition switch, ignition to on, three times the switch. One, two, three, and then three times here. One, two, three. Okay, we are in this mode. And now we have to go to 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, 13. Okay, full. Uh, about 3000. Good enough, I believe. So, the verdict is the Protégé 
um, tachometer works on the 626 without any issues okay so let's go and see where I'm gonna cut it here and here um, so I can actually finally do everything properly and I've cut those from the original one and I've uh, glued them using double sided tape mounting tape it's pretty goddamn strong these are very very good um, glued and this is the how I cut so I've cut here more as you can see I've cut more here and here so that when I place this I didn't turn on the flash camera because I wanted to show how it looks through the through the light you can see that I've actually left more so they go one on top of each other and there is no light coming out from anywhere same goes at the bottom like that that's how I cut this one from the protege and as you can see everything is beautiful I have all the lights that I need plus the ones that are here that's beautiful okay uh, one side note these are easily scratchable so if you do scratch them you're gonna need to use as you can see I've used electrical tape just to stop the light from coming out okay let's assemble everything and that's the final result I open the door and it's lit it looks beautiful and of course the best part of it is that even the trunk works so you close the door it doesn't it's not lit so I come open the trunk and voila that's all I hope you like it Hit subscribe, I'll be posting more videos soon. Bye.